how was working at Intel? How was the, the vibe of the place? Or chill, or it was like heavy workload. Um, how, how was it? So for my first internship, it was more of an R&D team, which meant a bunch of engineers and no necessary direction, which meant a lot of freedom. So we were really just exploring how we could potentially use this technology that they were developing and maybe bring it to market in the future. Um, I don't think I can get into to, too specific of what we were building, just for <laughs> safety purposes. They're coming to kill you if you tell anything. Yeah, yeah they're going to come knock on my door. <laughs> um, but, but it was really uh, very different from the type of people that I worked with the second time. So the first time it was... I don't even frame this. It was like very wholesome, <laughs> like people who are trying to, you know, they, they have families and it was really like an office job because I was in the Santa Clara office, which is the, the HQ and they have their own gym. They have their own cafeteria. And so I would, I would just stay the entire day at the office pretty much. And I'll never forget. I used to go play soccer at Facebook which it was maybe 35 minutes away. So I, I take the train to, to Facebook headquarters and I actually, I actually played for Facebook. Like they, they, they scouted me for soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's some, that's some movie type of shit. Like that's some shit you see on movies. Um, it's crazy that you did that. <laughs> no, it was hilarious. I, I would play there every Friday and then I just, because everyone who plays is an employee, right? And I met some engineering managers there and I was telling them, hey, I'm at Intel, but maybe I could work at Facebook. <laughs> then I, the second time around, I was in San Francisco and the office there is much smaller. It's only very specific teams. And usually, I actually don't know how exactly they decide if you're a team that gets put in San Francisco, but I know there was a whole marketing division that occupied one half of the office and then the other half was maybe like special projects and I guess our team was considered one of those because it was related to the Olympics and we were at the real start of the project which I can say now it is called 3D athlete tracking and we I came in at the point when they had decided we want to do this so it wasn't even like how we're going to do this it was just we have the green light we have the funding how we're going to do it and so my project was mostly data collection, how to figure out what we need to build, the, the software pipeline, we're going to record people, record athletes, uh, what kind of algorithms are we going to use to reconstruct scenes from, from you know, camera footage. And that was a six month project. I would jump between San Francisco and Arizona, maybe, I think I went to Arizona around six or seven times because that's where the athletes were. So we would build all the stuff in San Francisco, pack it up, move out to Arizona, and then stay there for four days. And every day was a sport. So one day was like shot put. The other day was high jump, 100 meter dash, 110 meter hurdle, and I think the and long jump. So so five sports. <laughs> yeah, like I, I met the guy with the uh, world record for the 110 meter hurdle, Aries, something something. Let me Google this actually. That's insane. Yeah, it's because we're recording like actual athletes, you know, for the Olympics. So these guys are pretty, pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm.